Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about graphs. We're going to be interpreting. We're looking at the data that's given in graphs and answer questions about them. So let's get started. Our first question says, at the store, Alexa bought some chairs and bicycles. She made a picture graph of the supplies she bought. Did Alexa buy less chairs or bicycles? So let's look at our graph. I see chair and bicycle. How many chairs do you see that she bought? She bought three. I'm going to write that right next to it. I'm going to write that right next to it. And how many bicycles did she buy? I only see one, so I'm going to write a one next to that. Let's reread the question one more time. At the store, Alexa bought some chairs and bicycles. She made a picture graph of the supplies she bought. Did Alexa buy less chairs or bicycles? So we want to know, what did she buy less of? There were three chairs and one bicycle. So there are less what? Bicycles. Next question. At the store, Angela bought some action figures and bicycles. She made a picture graph of the supplies she bought. Did Angela buy more action figures or bicycles? This time we're talking about more. We want to know who, which she bought more of. So action figures, how many action figures do you see? There are three. How many bikes are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five bikes. And again, we want to know, did Angela buy more action figures or bikes? So which is a greater number? Which is there more of? And it's the bicycles. Next, we have a doll and skateboard. At the store, Landon bought some dolls and skateboards. He made a picture graph of the supplies he bought. Did Landon buy more dolls or skateboards? Same thing as before. Let's find that keyword. More. We want to know what is more. So how many dolls did he buy? That's right. He bought one doll. How many skateboards did he buy? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four skateboards. Let's look at that keyword again. More. Did Landon buy more dolls or more skateboards? What does he have more of? Skateboards it is. Next. At the store, Daniel bought some cars and buses. He made a picture graph of the supplies he bought. Did Daniel buy more cars or buses? Ooh, keyword again. Did it say more or less? It said more. So we want to circle the word more. We want to know if there's more cars or buses. So let's count our cars. One, two, three, four. We have four cars. Let's do our buses. One, two, three, four, five. And we have five buses. Let's look at our question again. Did Daniel buy more cars or buses? So what is there more of? Cars or buses? Bus it is. Buses it is. Next question. At the store, Matthew bought some records and cars. He made a picture graph of the supplies he bought. Did Matthew buy less records or cars? Let's look at our question. Did Matthew buy less records or cars? The keyword here is less. We've been doing more for the last couple of problems, but now they want to know less. So let's look at our table, at our picture graph, and count. Records, there are one, two, three, four. And again, I'm going to write it. 
and car. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check our question again. Did Matthew buy less records or cars? So which is less, four or five? Four is less than five, which means he bought less records. At the store, Michael bought some action figures and tricycles. He made a picture graph of the supplies he bought. Did Michael buy less action figures or tricycles? All right, your turn. In the question, did Michael buy less action figures or tricycles? Which word should we circle? It should be less, that's our key word. So now let's count our action figures. One, two. And how many bikes do we have? One, two, three, four. Did Michael buy less action figures or tricycles? Action figures. Great job. At the store, Anthony bought some cars and flowers. He made a picture graph of the supplies he bought. How many cars did he buy? So this time we're not doing more or less. We're finding totals. We want to know how many cars did he buy? Do we care about the flowers right now? No, we don't need to worry about them. How about the car? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So there are four cars. At the store, Diana bought some bowls and chairs. She made a picture graph of the supplies she bought. How many chairs did she buy? Again, we're counting the amount. We want to know how many chairs she bought. Do we need to worry about the bowls? No way. Look at the chairs. Count the chairs. How many did she buy? And it's two. Good job. Next up, at the store, Olivia bought some umbrellas and batteries. She made a picture graph of the supplies she bought. How many batteries did she buy? So we're worrying about batteries. We don't need to worry about the umbrellas. Count the batteries. How many batteries do you see? So our answer is three. One more. At the store, Mackenzie bought some chairs and sports cars. She made a picture graph of the supplies she bought. How many sports cars did she buy? We have chairs and sports cars. What are we worried about? What does the question ask? How many sports cars did she buy? Do we need to worry about the chairs? Nope. So how many sports cars did she buy? I hope you counted them. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five sports cars. Way to go. You did it again. Keep up the great job and I will see you next time.